the show has baseball coming your way from Tropicana Field here in St. Petersburg. Tonight it's game three of this four game set between the Oakland A's and the Tampa Bay Rays. Major League Baseball on the show is next. Trevor Richards gets the ball in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, you take a look at that ERA, and it's a little bloated right now. This guy's a better pitcher than that, but he hasn't been real consistent. One good game, one bad game. I think what he needs to do, if he can string together three or four good quality games in a row, that ERA will start creeping Leading back down. Athletic, he definitely needs to start field, pitching a lot better field. than he has up Tyler. to this point. And it'll be Reveal. interesting to see if he can turn it around in this one. Here's the first pitch. Tyler hey. Ramirez is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Rays entering play here tonight. They've been hot of late. Winners in four straight. First yeah, Matty V. Hey, Dero, we're looking at a team that's playing some pretty good baseball right now. Through the first five games of this homestand, 4-1 and one, and looking for some bigger and better things. Yeah, we had a chance to sit down before the game after BP with the manager. He was really pleased with the way his team has played in these last five. Let's see if it continues today. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate and he'll have another shot at it here. Two once more. Nope. As usual, no surprise. 72 degrees, the game time temperature here inside Tropicana Field. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Just tied him up with that last pitch. Pretty evident by the swing. Second. Sometimes guys get in that protect mode so Elvis. much that they're swinging Andrew. at everything that they see and they end up offering it pitches that they can't possibly do anything with. So Elvis Andres the next to bat as he'll oh, lay off no a curveball in the dirt for ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. And he watches oh, one miss point. outside, 2-0 oh now. Now the pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Phillips is there for it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. And here's a shot of the athletic starting lineup for this one. Dan Plezak, who are you focused on? You know, this lineup is really needing a lot more out of Elvis Andrus these days. He went 0 for 3 last game. No big deal, only three ABs, but it was the way in which he looked going about those ABs. He didn't have a good look to him at all. We'll see if he can bounce back in this one. To the plate now, Brandon Jordan. And he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. The 1 0 delivery. Ball. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitter's counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers' pitches. And when he's getting the ball in the zone, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. 3 and 0 now. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. 3-0 pitch. And we'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses, and it's a two-out walk. Man, you hate to give up a two-out walk to anybody, but especially to a speed demon like him. Good chance he's running here, and good luck trying to stop him. Next to hit, Vimael Machin. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. He's set and the pitch. And a pitch out. Nothing doing though, and that's ball one.
Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Jordan is off of first with two away. High chopper to third. He's got a hurry. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. The A's strand one. And now the Rays will get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. Jesus Lozardo gets the ball for Oakland in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? You know, Matt, it's awfully tough getting a lot of no decisions as a starting pitcher, but he was able to pick up his first win of the year in his last start. Hopefully, his mojo starts turning around. So stepping in is Joey Wendell. He'll lead things off here and in the bottom half of the for the, Rays, the second baseman, Joey Wendell. Here's the pick. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. And Dan D. Rowe, this Oakland ball club entering play here tonight. They come off another loss last time out, and in fact, they've dropped three of their last four. Yeah, Matty, I know they've caught a little bit of a losing streak right now, but they got good veteran presence, great veteran presence in that clubhouse. Nope, and I bet you someone steps up today and says, this stops. We get it done today, boys. Two and one to the oh, Rays' leadoff batter. The two one home. Doesn't nope, hit the target. Good. It's ball three. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike and now he's got the count in his favor. Three and one. And nope. he takes oh, ball four. It. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. Batting second, the center fielder. Magwell. Now with the play is Manuel Margo. First pitch on its way. Pitch out. No one, no Nothing pitch. doing. taken for ball two. He's having a really hard time finding his rhythm and finding the strike zone. It's going to allow this offense to keyhole him in big situations. He's got to figure it out pretty quick. The 2-0 on the way. Nobody out. Runner on first. Hit the corner, two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Yandy Diaz will be next. Set. Here's the three and two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Jordan will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. That is now a moment here in St. Pete for a glance at the Rays starting lineup. What's the key for them tonight, Hero? Maddie, this lineup's got to be willing to adjust. They cannot stay staunch and try and pull everything, but there will be a ton of ground ball and weak fly ball contact. They have to be willing to use line to line to get this done. And that will bring in Yandi Diaz as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0 1. He's got the average to 321. Four home runs, 13 RBIs. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Ed Drummond. 
Yeah, Maddie, we got a good one behind the dish today in Ed Drummond. Well liked by all people, pitchers, batters, managers. All you want as a player is the ability to talk to someone. And that's what Ed does. He gives you that chance. Zero, you hit a nail right on the head. He has a real long fuse. He's not afraid to let a hitter or a pitcher, I'm not going to say complain about a particular pitch, but he's not the guy that's going to get mad and throw somebody and give him the boot just because a guy doesn't like a pitch or a pitcher thinks that a pitch is a strike and they call it a ball. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Runner at first here, one man out. That misses, and it's going to set up a big pitch now, three and two. Well, a three-two count and a guy that handles the bat up at the plate. This is a great time to put that runner on first in motion. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. At this rate, he's going to set some kind of a record for walks issued in the game four. or he'll get an the early look. We'll hitter. see if he can settle down Randy. here and start to find the strike zone or if he right continues now. to struggle. So now here is Randy Rosarena. He's hoping to break out of the slump he's been stuck in. ready here's the first pitch and that's cut on and missed going one one thing I'm going to keep my eye on with this young starter on the mound is how he's able to stay ahead of hitters it makes pitching at this level a lot easier and when you're trying to establish yourself in the big leagues you're going to have a much better time doing that if you attack hitters from the get-go open to send him packing pitch on its way man a pitcher left the guy off easy right there that old two pitch wasn't even close I rate that as a non-competitive pitch. First and second now, one man out. High and deep down the left field line. Again, a one-two. This looks like it could be a rough one. Can't throw a strike, and it's only the first inning. I'm not sure he's going to be around here very long. This is on the ground over the first. Oh, but the feet of the shortstop is off the mark. And he'll come in to score from second base, and that is a direct result, obviously, of that poor fourth throw. Batting fifth. Well, it's shortstop. really hard to complain about really? this one because that's A one of the double. hardest double plays to turn. The first baseman has to deal with the runner headed to second, and he sometimes shields you from throwing where you want to make the throw. They should have made it, but that's a tough play all the way around. So now to the plate, Willie Adonis. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. The 1 0. He is looked at for the first strike. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find his own. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. Diaz on third. A Rosarena is over at second with one down in the inning. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. And he misses again, ball three. This pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. A three and one pitch. And he misses oh, with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Well, he's really laboring that in the early it. going here. The That's third his third man. walk of the game already. We'll see if he can awesome. get it together or if this is just one of those days where he's going to have to grind his way through this start. 
And now, Michael Brasso. And a great chance here for the Rays to add on in just the first inning. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And he fouls this one off. Up to an even 30 pitches here in the first inning. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. On the line, that's a base hit. And that'll plate their second run of the game as they take a 2 0 lead. How frustrating is that, Dan? He tries to bury something in with two strikes, and this guy's able to put bat on baseball and find a way to hit a soft liner to the opposite field. You know, sometimes you have to tip your cap that inside-out swing. As a pitcher, you think you've thrown a good pitch, but sometimes as a hitter, they put a good swing on it and still ends up for a base hit. At the plate now, Francisco Mejia. The swing and lift the ball fouled off to the left and out of play. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. One pitch. And he lays off for ball one. Bases are loaded here, one man out. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Now the two one. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now. Three and two. What a well executed fastball right there. Down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch, you have to think up the middle the other way, and you have to be diving and leaning out over that thing. Now the payoff pitch home. High in the air out to center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And he'll make it into score. It's a sack fly and an RBI, and it's now a 3-0 ball game. Obviously, he's Bad hoping again. for more up there no with the bases field. loaded, but Get he there. can't be too upset with the sack Here fly. Here, Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer. Three across so far in the inning, and another two out there on base. Yeah, Matt, and this inning's really starting to get away from him on the defensive side of the ball. Stranding the rest of those guys out here feels absolutely essential for them at this point. He's set. Here it comes. And this is taken outside for ball one. I think this inning could have far-reaching effects in this game. They're really making him work, and unless he dials it in, it's probably going to limit how deep he goes into this game. And that's in there for his strike one and one. And it's a ball and two strikes to Kiermaier now. Hey, this is a big pitch right here. Can't allow them to attack on any more runs. Let's see if he attacks his own or buries something in the dirt. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. Some people in the crowd don't like that, but believe that me, not. he did not the want to hit field. a guy in the first inning. Right. We'll see if he can regain his control Hello. or if his control becomes an issue. Brett Phillips will bat next. No balls and a strike to count. And he's got a shot to open up an even greater lead if he can get something into the outfield. Hey, here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0-2. 
He put himself in a good position, jumping ahead 0-2 with the bases loaded. Now we'll see if he can finish it off. 0-2, here it is. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. So all in all, they're fortunate to give up just three in the inning as they wind up escaping the bases loaded jam. We'll head to the second inning here in St. Pete. It's the Rays three and the A's nothing. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson. It's been a really Leading slow the start athletic. to the season for him, the first as you can see by the Matt April numbers on your Olson. screen. First pitch on the way. Matt Olson is at the plate as he looks at ball one. Love the early lead, but this game is far from over. Got to stay on top of what you're trying to do out there and execute pitches. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He takes the turn and heads for second. He will get there as the A's have themselves a leadoff double. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers that are not it. where he wants them to the be so far this year. Matt. But you never know yeah. by that swing. He looks fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. And that'll bring in Matt Chapman. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. They'll check in here at 277. Six home runs, 18 driven in. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Olsen stands at second with no outs. In front here is this one scorched foul to the left. Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at two and two. And it's fouled away. Just out in front of that one, still two and two. From the stretch. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of the pitcher. But you gotta find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Now the payoff pitch home. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy That's at the letters. That's the, the ultimate challenge pitch. And for me personally, Hannah. watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. So now it's Mark Canna. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. He's got that batting average even at a point where even a one for five will gain him some points. No home runs yet in this first month and three driven in. Ready with the 0-1. Swing and a miss here and he's behind in the count now 0-2. Interested to see what the pitcher goes to now. After getting that late hack on the curveball, does he speed him up with some velocity? Here comes the nothing in two pitch. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. He makes the throw to first. Two down. Good pitch there. That was a nice job by his battery mate to complete the plate first after the ball hit the dirt.
standing in now. Mitch Moreland. So take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. The 1 0. now some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy but with the base open it's not the end of the world if you do you still need to make a quality pitch not quick enough that time and he's lucky to get another chance count remains full two out here and a run to the second Misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Well, this guy's been prone to giving up walks and bunches, and that's already two walks here in the early going. We'll see if this continues to be an issue for him as this start continues. So it's first and second with two men gone, and that'll bring up Sean Murphy. set here's the nothing and nothing pace and that one right down Main Street after the walk and with runners on the bags he couldn't afford to fall behind here nice job of jumping ahead with strike one looking to wiggle out of this here it is well I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. The 1-1 home. Waves and misses for strike number two. You chase a pitch that bad outside the zone, you got to find a way to regroup, adjust the batting gloves, only look over the heart of those 17 inches. Here comes the one two. That's high and outside for a ball. Now two and two, two on, two out. This is when you have to make a pitch right here. The last thing you want to do is run the count full to three and two. Then the runners are going to be off to the races. From the belt, the pitch. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. A's strand a couple. They trail in this one, three nothing. Bring up Joey he Wendell. For the second Rams. trip to the plate for him. The second base leadoff walk in Joey. the home first. For me, this is an important add on inning here. Their little lead is cute. I like it, but keeping the pressure on, building that lead, that's how you bury someone. And that's on the outside corner for a strike. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing in two. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk, coming right after him here. A wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Little chopper back to the mound. And there's one down now. The center fielder. All right, guys, here's how the Oakland A's are lining up defensively. And let's focus our attention at the guy who plays one of the premier positions in the game, and that's Elvis Andrews. Listen, when I watch this guy, I can't help but think Omar Vizquel. Came into the league, was all glove, and figuring it out at the plate, and has consistently gotten better offensively 
while never losing a step in the glove. Manuel Margot stands in as he looks at ball one here. The 1-0. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Kenna is there, two gone. The first baseman, number two, Yandi Diaz. So next to hit is Yandi Diaz. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. And a ball 1-0. Oh. Swing and a shot toward right center. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Boy, there's another opposite base hit right there, d -Row. It's He's turning now up the April showers hitters. into May right now. There's no doubt oh, about no, it. This no, guy right has gone off to a hot start. But it's his ability to use the whole field. That's what's made the difference. He's not just pull happy or trying to push everything the other way. He's taking what the pitcher's giving him. From the stretch. Hey, a two-up single isn't all that bad, but it can be when you've got this part of the lineup coming up. Here's the 0-1. Oh. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. Diaz, a runner at first with two gone. A ball and two strikes. Two strikes. Back to the fastball, but it's upstairs. Two balls and two strikes now. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. The 2-2. Two -two. Well, this has been a good at-bat. He's now worked the count full to 3-2. and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. Now the payoff pitch home is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. One left for Tampa, but they lead it 3 nothing. Top of the third set to get underway, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Tyler Ramirez. Tyler Ramirez. Pitch on the way. Fouled off. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Popped him up. Mejia is right there. One down. Now batting. Shortstop. Elvis. Andrew. One gone for the A's here in the third. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Elvis Andrus. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey. One out, nobody on. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. Here it comes now to Andrews.
Oh. Low with the fastball that time. Two balls and two strikes. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off-speed pitch in the dirt. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high. Three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Payoff pitch on its way. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Margo's under it. Two gone. Now batting, the right fielder, Brandon Jordan. Now with the plate, Brandon Jordan. He's two for seven in the series so far. And now the first pitch. Ball one. A hey, curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. Here comes the 1 0. And how about the uncommon patience for the rookie in a big spot right here? These have been some tough pitches to lay off. Outside, oh, 3 and 0 now. Now, with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3 0. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. Here it comes. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's three and one. Four pitches, all takes. He's showing a lot of patience here. And I like that from a guy like him, Matty. He can do a lot of damage on the base pass nope, with his legs. So Take there's no reason for him to get overly aggressive if he's not getting anything to handle. So that's now the that second is. walk the he's second worked base. in this one. Yeah, and that seems to be a popular approach Mashi. when this guy steps in. He can really hurt you with one swing. So I think the idea is mostly not to let this one guy beat you now. Into the box, Vimayel Mashi. Pitches a cold strike. The throw way late, and he's in there easily at second. We all know this team is struggling right now. They're on a losing streak, so when that's the case, sometimes you need to be a little bit more aggressive and try to put some pressure on your opponents. Stolen bases are a good way of doing that, so we'll see if it pays off on the scoreboard for him right now. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. There is a base open here, so the option to work around him is there if they want to go that route. One one home. Oh, and he popped him up. And that's going to land foul. Two, two. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. And the payoff pitch. Back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. He'll get it into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. A's have to settle for just the one. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Rays three and the A's one. We're back at Tropicana Field and let's check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, Rays manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Leading off for the Rays. Stepping in now, Willie Not Adamas. Shortstop. Yes, he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. The average for him at 267 on the year. Four home runs and 14 driven in. The 
wind up and the 0 1. Sort of surprising to see a five hole hitter take two in a row for strikes to start at bat. Now he's way behind the count, so we'll see if he can battle back. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his now fifth batting. strikeout Third in baseman. this series alone. Michael Russo. Grosso digging in at the plate. As he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. A base hit in his first trip. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Hard hit towards center. Kenna is there now and he has it. Two gone. Now batting, catcher, Francisco Mejia. Digging in, the switch hitter, Francisco Mejia. Drove in a run with a sack fly last time up. Wheels and deals, here's the first pitch. We're only in the third inning, and his pitch count is above 60. That's not being too efficient with your pitches. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0-2. Hey, he's done an amazing job of settling down. Two innings ago, I thought they were going to run him out of here. But now he's close to posting two shutout innings as a response. Still no balls and two strikes. I love the fact that the hitter was able to foul that pitch away. I always thought with two strikes, you give the pitcher that inside part of the plate and you do your best to cover away. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for the ball. Now a curveball misses inside. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0-2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. The 2-2. I know that fastball registered at about 92, 93, but I guarantee you it looked about four to five miles an hour faster than that for this offensive player. After coming off a curveball, the old push the throttle and pull it is being used. Third inning here, three to one our score. Line drive to center field. That gets down and the inning continues. Kind of looked like he had gotten his bearings there. Dan was going to have a 1-2-3 inning, but not no the case, giving up that late two-out yeah, knock. Boy, this lineup is so Here deep, one through nine. They could put a hurting on you, and they're making him work, and he's given up a lot of base hits so far in this one. So far, this has not been an easy one for this pitcher. So here's Kevin Kiermeyer. As the first oh, pitch here's no. a bit high, it's ball one. He was plunked with a pitch in his first trip to the plate. Ball and no strikes. Here it is. Hey. Two out with the man at first. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Oh, that should have been ball four there, but it's a called strike, and that runs things full at three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Ray's strand just the one, and it's still three to one. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. 
Well, Matt, I talked to manager Bob Melvin during the break about his thoughts on the A's hitters to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Thank you, Heidi. All set for the start of the inning, and next to bat will be the Leading first baseman, the Matt Olson. The first baseman, Matt Olson. Now here's the pitch. Action in the Rays' pen now as they've got a lefty and a right-hander up and throwing. Here it comes. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Two and one to the A's first baseman. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to fix around this guy a little bit. The 2 1. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Fouled away. Ready with another 2 2. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Now that. So with amazing. one away, let's punch that. up the graphic and show Shut you the man. pitch speed comparison for the two starters here in the fourth inning. And whoa, you see the big number. How about 99 for a top speed? Not too many guys around the league can match that. So here is Matt Chapman. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch on its way. Lofted in the air out to right field. Phillips is on the move. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now batting the center fielder, Mark Hanna. Two away now in the Oakland fourth. And striding into bat next, it will be Mark Hanna. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Hey, a two on walk right one, here no would play. be the time run of the plate, even though it's early on. You've got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. There's a cut fastball that time that runs in a bit too tight, and it's 2 0 now. Too tight with Whoa, that one. 3 0. Here's the pitch. And a fastball misses there. Ball four. Now batting. Designated hitter. Mitch. Stepping up oh. is Mitch Moreland. Worked a walk in his first plate appearance. On its way is pitch number 75. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw cleanly in the first, and that ends the inning. One left for Oakland. Score holds. It's three to one.
Stepping in once again is Brett Phillips. And we can up all the way here. He went down on the strikes right in his first at bat. And now pitch on the way. Hit out towards second. And that will get on by into center field for a leadoff single. They've gotten their hits in deep counts. They've gotten their hits in early now counts. Battle. This has the been a real baseman. onslaught. Yeah, yeah you can look at it one of two ways, Matty. Either they have a ton of respect for the man on the mound, and they are just going to ambush tactics, and it seems to work for them. Or you can look at it the other way. They're just going to Joey Wendell digs in now. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. One oh. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the shoe out. The center fielder, number 13. Magwell. One down with a runner at second. And that'll bring up the versatile center fielder, Manuel Margo. First pitch on its way. Hit hard down the left field line. But that'll land foul strike one. Hit in the air to center field. Kenna is there. Two gone. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. The first baseman, number two, Yandi Diaz. Stepping in, Yandi Diaz, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball right now. Even though it's early on in this one, anytime you get runners in scoring position, you'd like to knock them in. The 1-1. One, one. Bounce it to the left side. The one to Olsen will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left the board. On to the top of inning number five we go. It's the Rays three and the A's one. Striding in for Oakland, Sean Murphy Leading off will the start Atlanta. off the fifth in this the one. Sean Murphy. Here's the first pitch. In there for strike one. Fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. One ball, Way two inside down. with that one, a pretty easy take there. And did he hold up in time? Look down, and no, he went around. It's strike three. One of the, the big advantages to pitching ahead in the count Tyler of your pitcher because you Ramirez. have to cover both pitches if you're a hitter. You have to cover the off speed and the fastball. In the one two count, you might be sitting off speed. And what happens? He gets the fastball and can't catch up to the express. Strike one to start the at bat. No hits to this point. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Took him right up the ladder that time. It's one and two. Yeah, Matty, he's had these guys on the proverbial rocking horse all night. Changing speeds, hitting every quadrant. 
He's tough to hit. The one two. Line down the left field line. But this one lands in the bullpen area, a foul ball. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. One run, two hits, and one error on the Oakland line score. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to the do is stop. get on base and take Elvis. advantage of the strength Andrew. of this game, which is his speed. But with a strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Your Brendan McKay, please. a six foot now two inch left hander, jogs in to take over Number on the hill. Brendan McKay. Here's Elvis Andrus now. Soft liner to the right side, but an easy play over at first to glove it, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the A's. And it remains a 3-1 ball game. Here's Randy Arozarena. It's up. been an for over two effort for him the to this point. Hitter. Randy Arroza Radar. Now the first pitch. Hey. And we see some action in the A's bullpen now. It's both a left-hander and a righty that start to loosen up. Nope. And he misses with it one and one. Look out. One and one. Shot on the ground is short. And a leap over at first, but he comes down with his foot on the bag to record the out. The bat, who never won. Should stop. Really. A double. Now one down with the bases empty. And up next will be Willie Adamas. Pitch on the way. Hey! Three to one our score as we play inning number five. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 and 2 now. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. And he fouls this one off. Ball and two nope. strikes to the Rays shortstop. I love a well-executed changeup, especially one down in the zone. The only problem throwing it in that situation, you leave that belt high or miss your spot oh, just count. a hair, and you could have some problems. Two and two the count. Into the windup and the pitch. One that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat, is this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. Full count still. Three runs, four hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. He loses him nope. on ball four. Now batting, third baseman, Michael. Here comes Bob Melvin Russell. now out of the Oakland dugout. And it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. 
So he'll make his way to the dugout after working just four and a third, and he just didn't have his best stuff in this one. Lee Trevino will come on in please. relief now as he'll make now his 10th appearance the of the season. Number 62, Lou Trevino. Michael Brasso will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. Set and the pitch. And it's fouled away. Ball one, Ball one as he lays off below the zone. Here's a look over first oh, and a dive, but he's back. Now the one and one pitch. Runners off for second. One ball and two strikes to count. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him. The catcher, number Watching 28. this at bat, it's Run, clear to be that his go. rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. Into the box now, Francisco Mejia. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Way the 0 1 pitch. Nope. Ball oh. one. one. Adamas leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Fastball right back to the mound. And we'll flip oh. it on the first, and with it, that ends the inning. One left for Tampa as the lead remains 3 to 1. to spark the offense Brandon. and even things up. Jordan. Here's the first pitch. Ball one. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. And he holds Aye. up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Someone on this offense needs to take it upon themselves to have a quality A-B and start the line moving again. Now the one and one pitch. Hey. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Here comes the one-two. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. Heading after it is Phillips. He gets there and makes the play for the first down. Up next for Oakland, the second baseman, Vimael Mashi. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Vimael Mashi. One for two in the ball game thus far. First pitch on its way. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. Margo is back to the warning track and he's able to put it away for the second out. Up next for Oakland, the first baseman, Matt Olsen. 
And that'll bring up Matt Olson. He hits with two away as they continue to trail in this close game. Well, Matt, this has been a big hitting on the mound. He's had to face the middle of the order, and so far he's held them at bay. Yeah, this feels like the kind of inning we'll look back on at the end of the game, even if the result of it changes dramatically here. And now the first pitch. Count one and oh. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face, he's going to probably call a meeting after this. The 1-0 home. Ball two. 2-0. Two oh. Down That's low, and the plot thickens here. 3-0. Matt Chapman would be next. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. Let's see what they throw Olsen on a three and one count. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. The three and one pitch. He is swung on and missed a full count now. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one. So, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Now the three and two pitch. And that one's taken outside for a ball. We walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. Up next for Oakland. The third base runner. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman. Flew out last time up. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. And he takes ball one. A runner on first with two away. little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. On that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. Hey, without question, he got him leaning out over right there. Four pitches. Swing and a miss. That retires the side and that will do it. The A's strand one. They still trail it here three to one. of the sixth inning now and next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder no Kevin Kiermeyer. Kevin Kiermeyer. From the stretch here's the pitch. Ball one, no play. Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. Trevino, a right-hander going six foot five. He was selected in the 11th round back in the draft of 2013. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. And here's a fastball, not close as he runs it to two and one now. Looks like a right-hander's gotten up to throw now in the Oakland pen. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. Fly ball right down the line and left. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of Up the next inning. For Tampa Bay, the right fielder, Brett Fellow. 
next it'll be Brett Phillips his career numbers against this pitcher not a big sample size 0 for 1. First offering on its way and he gets ahead here with the fastball strike one. Oh one count here's the pitch. Ground ball, left side. Chapman's got it. Go on to first, two gone. Now back, second baseman, Joey Wendell. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Joey Wendell. He grounded out last time up. Now the pitch. And here's a first pitch curveball that bounces on him there. It's ball one. The 1 0 is looked at off the plate for a ball. Three and 0 now. Manuel Margot would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Two out, nobody on. And that one's taken outside for a ball. He walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out baseline. The center field, number 13. Maguire. Next to hit is Manuel Margot. And at first after the two out walk. In there, now the throw. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. Trying to move into scoring position with two away, but not to be as we get another look. On to the back third tonight. Stick around on the show. Now it'll be Leading Mark off Hanna. The it was a walk the in his last it. trip. Mark Hanna. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Purple is nowhere one close, and it's 1 0. Oh. Fastball just a bit low here. He's behind 2 0 now. Hey, always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. And now he's put himself in a real good hitter's count. Now the 2-0. Finds the zone, strike one. Great job of doubling up with the fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. The 2-1 home. That's ball three. Hey, leading off an inning in this situation, three balls on you. You have to know that a solo shot's not tying this game up. You have to find a way to get on base any way possible. On, he jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. Margo looks up. And off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. It's a solo shot for Mark Canna. First home run of the campaign for him. And the A's have made this a 3-2 ball game now. There's an old saying in the game. They say solo homers won't kill you. This might be a good time for a mound visit right here. Try and erase those negative thoughts and get right back in the zone. You still have the lead.
plate. Mitch Moreland. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. He bounced out last time up. And a fastball here that's taken for ball two. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. This is pulled into right. Phillips is there, one away. The Boy, talk about hitting the into some rough luck. John that was an Murphy. absolute bullet to the outfield that gets caught, and he would have represented a tying run. In at the plate is Sean Murphy. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Now the 1 0. There's a low changeup that's laid off. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. And an awful swing there, too, always. The count goes to two and one. Real nice curveball there. Had a lot of late break, and he waved right through that one. Bases are empty, one man out. Hard hit ball to short. And there's out number two. Up next for Oakland, the left fielder, Tyler Ramirez. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Tyler Ramirez. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. First pitch of the A-B now. Hey. You know, some guys just don't like pulling the trigger in a 0-0 count. They don't like the ambush tactic. They like to calibrate the speed, maybe pick up the brake. They want to know everything your ball does before they pull the trigger. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. That one is out of here. This game is tied. A solo shot down the line in right. Second home run early in the year. And the A's have come back to make this a 3-3 game. Big time at bat right there. Team trailing and he ties it up with a bomb. Interested to see how this one finishes out. Your Colin attention, McHugh please. will get the ball here now as he looks to get the, the final out in the top of the Number seventh. 31, Colin McHugh. In now, now Elvis Andrews. Elvis And he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Hey. A ball and a strike. Yeah, one ball, one strike. A 1 1. Two one. Bases are empty here with two men out. On the ground to the right side. Scooped up. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. So two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. It is stretch time here in Tampa. We'll stretch with them, and we are all tied at three apiece. J.B. Wendelkin will come on in relief now as he'll make his 10th appearance of the season. Number 57, J.B. Wendelkin. That will bring up Manuel Margot. 
and Gideon for the Reds. To this point. The center fielder, Medwell. Marge. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. A ball and no strikes. Count one and oh. Even one and one count to Margo. One ball, one strike. Nope. Fastball ball. taken inside for a ball. Two and one now. Three and one. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And the count will be full. Strike three called as he gets a little help there. One away. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't now outrageous. Hey, listen. The first calling baseman. balls and strikes is a Yandy. really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. I'm not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. So now to the plate, Yandy Diaz. As he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. He's one for two in this one. Fouled away. O2 pitch. Ball. Hey, that O2 fastball wasn't even close, but I'm hitting right now. I'm still sitting on that heater. One out, nobody on. Grounded weakly toward third. And that's the second out. Up next for Tampa Bay, the designated hitter, Randy Arroso Reyna. For the plate now is the designated hitter, Randy Arroso Reyna. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. First delivery to him. All one. Two out, nobody on. That evens it up, one and one. Now here's the pitch. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing, and he's down one and two. You know, it's funny right there. You look at that pitch, and it's almost a hybrid in between a big-time old-school curveball and a nasty slider that goes off the fastball. That's kind of right in the middle right there, kind of working off the clock, that three to eight, if you can picture that in your head. Tough pitch to lay off of. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Try again, one, two. Got him swinging, and that's the third out. Down in order go the Rays. No change in the score. It's three to three. Ladies Ryan and Thompson will come on and please. make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Number 81, Ryan Thompson. Ready to begin the eighth. 
standing in the rookie outfielder, Brandon Jordan. Brandon Jordan. He's set. Here it comes. A great job pounding the zone strike one. When you've got a great hitter in the box, got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. count and the pitch and he watches one dip low and inside for a ball one and one and action now in the Tampa Bay pen as it looks like a right handers begun to get loose he's set here comes the one one and he fouls this one off Here comes the one two drill to the right side A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. and he'll make it the first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield now, single cutting it close base. here but he comes through in the eighth to extend his Mark. hitting streak yeah and he was staring at his last at bat right there or probably his last at bat would have been tough to get him another AB in this one but he's able to get it done hey better late than never and I'm sure when he walked into that batter's box right there he's thinking this very well could be my last AB of this game so if I'm going to keep this streak alive going to have to do it right now he's working on a one for three thus far now the one oh He's in there for strike one. Good speed at first and good speed with the guy at the dish. Going to be tough to double up these guys. If you're an infielder, got to get rid of it quick. For the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. Slider down the middle, but laid off. Wow, I can't believe the hitter took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Popped him up. Wendell over to his left. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Time now for a starter comparison, yeah. and that tells the story. As you can see, neither guy able to get past five innings. And now in the box, Matt Olson, a hit and two tries for him so far. Pitch coming, here it is. Hey. Use the slide step there, Danny. Oh, you oh, have one. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low scoring pitcher's duel for once. Oh, and one, here it comes. Pitch inside the throw. And he skips in as he steals the bag easily. Well, they threw over there multiple times thinking he was going to try to swipe that bag. So they were onto him, but he just waited it out and took off when he had the chance. Nice job of base running there. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. The slider two and two. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. 
Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pick. Uh, two two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. He showed right there why having a good change is so valuable. Two and two, and he oh, puts one up good. there that the bottom that's really good. falls out at the last yeah. minute. It's so yeah. hard to pick up, and it's even harder to make good contact with. Next up for the A's, Matt Chapman. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. First offering on its way. Aye. Well, if you could throw it for a strike consistently, a first pitch changeup is effective. Hitters are almost never looking for it. A throw behind the runner in second, and he can't hold on to the throw as it short hops him and eats him up. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Margo's under it. Hauls it in, and the potential go-ahead run will not come around to score. One left for Oakland. Score remains tied at 3-3. Three to three. He is Merrill Petit. It's on to pitch now out of the bullpen the in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 36, Yusmero Petit. Riding in is Willie Adamas. Leading off. He'll see Golden what he can Ray. do leading off the home That's eight. shortstop. Willie Adamas. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Kenna is there and he has it for the first down. Up next for Tampa Bay, the third baseman. Michael. So next Brasso. to the plate for Tampa Bay, Michael Brasso. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Ball one to start the at-bat. Next here is Francisco Mejia. One for Run. two on his line so far in the game. Mejia. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. In today's game, everybody's trying to work off the mound north-south, trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch right there, but I can tell you as an offensive player, I'd rather give you six inches off east-west than to have you call that high fastball. Ready with the 1 0. -oh. Like the fastball got away from him there, it's ball two. And it misses three and one now. Can't keep that one fair, and now the count's full. Ready with the payoff pitch.
got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Rays go in order, one, two, three. Still tied, three to three. Now into the box, Mark Hanna comes off the in athletic. one for two with the that home run he hit earlier. Mark Hanna. Pitch coming, here it is. Ninth hey. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Holding up on the low ball there, and it's one and two. Still a ball and two strikes. Now another one, two. And the slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Margo's under it. He's got it one away. The batter, the designated hitter, Nick Moreland. Next will be the designated hitter, Mitch Moreland. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line-out. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Bases are empty, one man out. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. One, one. Bouncer to the left side. He's got it. And there are two away now. Now back. Pepper. John Murphy. Now at the plate, here is Sean Murphy. Grounded out in his last at bat. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, and this is hit high and deep out to left. Come on! And with two out in the ninth, they have taken the lead. A solo shot here to left as they take the lead four to three. Hey, with one swing of the bat, that closer better get ready. He's going to be doing some work in the bottom half of this inning. The left field, the field of Tyler. In the box, Tyler Ramirez. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Here comes the 1-0. Hey. 
I'm sure every pitcher on the staff could use an extra run right here. I know the bases are empty and there's two outs, but stay on the attack. Get a guy on first base, you never know. You get something going and string a few across. It's 2-1 to the A's leadoff batter. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. For the first one, time to spare and the side is retired. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. Last chance for the Rays coming up. It's now 4-3 Oakland. Miguel Romero please. comes on looking for now a save here Miguel in the bottom Romero. of the ninth inning. Number 19, Miguel Romero. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And that means Kevin Kiermaier will get next. For the Rays, the left fielder, Kevin Kiermaier. First pitch coming, here it is. Oh, one, here's the pitch. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Wow, what makes it so tough to be a hitter is to be able to hit and change of speeds, right? You're geared up for the fastball, and all of a sudden, he pulls the string and throws you the straight change. The dreaded equalizer. Ready with another 0-2. Oh, that's a bad. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Here comes the one-two. It's a wave and a miss. He struck him out. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but now that wasn't a right great fielder. pitch to do it on. Right. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Standing in now, Brett Phillips as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Oh, the first of the in time, and the Rays are now down to their final out. Now back. The second baseman. Joey. Wendell. Race down to their final out now. And digging in next will be Joey Wendell. First pitch on the way. at the plate the 0-1 with the gap in right center this is going to be a base hit and he may take that big turn at first and he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit every the one of there are no awards for successfully getting 26 right. outs you need to get all 27 right. before you can start celebrating that two out double here tonight putting the equalizer on at second base a couple minutes ago this thing looked like it might be over but everything can change with one swing of the bat. Up next for the Rays, Manuel Margot. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much. 0 for 4, but this is a great opportunity to make a man. Well, if your team really needs you like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. One out. You know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. Hey. And a cold strike on the outside part of the plate. Now this guy's got some of the nastiest stuff in the game, and it is absolutely no fun for an offense to try and piece together any type of attack when he's throwing this stuff.
Two balls Jeff, in a strike. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Fans on their feet in a one-run ball game in the last of the ninth. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. I always remember John Smoltz telling me the greatest asset a closer can have is short-term memory. And this situation called for it right here. He's got to forget that he has any traffic on a base pass and just attack the zone. And it's fouled away. Tampa down to their final strike in this one. Struck him out, so he'll strand the possible time run at second, and a great job of working out of trouble as this ball game is over. And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. The Oakland A's came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Yasmero Petit claims the win out of the pen, his first. Miguel Romero earns the save out of the bullpen, his second. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.